If you're familiar with Mariah Carey's life story, you know that she did not have an easy childhood, and she moved around with her mom about 13 or 14 times before she was a teenager. In Mariah's memoir that was released a year ago, which is a great read, she mentioned The Shack, where she lived as a teenager and started to write songs. Recently, I was able to find photos of The Shack, and I thought I'd share them with other fans. This is a photo from inside the neighbor's house. (laughs) I snuck in when they went out to work. No, I'm kidding. This is the side of the shack from the neighbor's house from their patio. No, I was not on the patio taking pictures. These are from a real estate listing online. But you know I would probably do something like that. (laughs) This is an aerial view. You can see the red dot is the shack. To the left is the nearby house. And you can see compared to all these other houses, it's not very big. The home was fairly close to a beach, although, I mean, it's not Bora Bora. And I believe Mariah once told a story where she said her mom would open the front door. And since her mom was a trained opera singer, she would loudly sing Mariah's name in an operatic way to let Mariah know it was time to come home. So I tweeted this out and look who replied. The legend herself, Miss Mariah Carey said, clearly they did an upgrade because it did not look that good back then. It doesn't even look that good right now. And it was a different color, a red warped faux brick, faux, faux, brick exterior, (laughs) faux, mofo. To think that Mariah lived in that shack and was honing her craft as a songwriter and singer and her immense talent and hard work just a few years later helped pay for half of this mansion. It's truly inspiring to see that a dream really did come true and that a hero lies in you. Mariah talked about life in the shack in her incredible memoir, The Meaning of Mariah Carey, which I highly recommend. Bye bye Love you much. <laughs>